<laughs> Clapper. Can you tell us, is there any particular reason why you've, you're touring Australia at this time of your career? Well, uh, just this is a, the time it worked out for me. There's no particular reason except it was an opportune time to come over here. Things worked out. We tried to make arrangements before in the past, but it never worked out due to other commitments that came up for me. Well, you've had a long career and you've survived. Why do you think you have? Well, your guess is as good as mine, actually, but uh, I guess I survived because I've, I've uh, tried to just do what I wanted to do myself. And, uh, although, although maybe it didn't... Uh, you know, help me commercially at the time. I just remained sort of true to what I wanted to do myself. So I guess that's what gave me longevity or whatever you want to call it. What's been the motivator? Just to uh, continue making music and uh, to keep the level of the music high so that uh, that's really what I do. So I don't really need any motivation other than to continue doing what I do well. Neil, you mentioned earlier about fitness. Uh, how fit do you, do you have to be for your performance on stage? Well, I have to be in, in uh, I think, very good shape to, to uh, deliver a uh, top quality performance to the people who come to see me. And uh, uh, as I get on in life, it becomes more important to me. And obviously, the older you get, uh, the more things begin to wear and tear. A few of the edges get worn, things like that. But... So I, uh, I, I try to get a lot of exercise. I like to windsurf and uh, get out on the water. And, you know, it, it's good for my body. And I, I like to do it. I think it's very healthy. I think that uh, good health is very important to anybody who's trying to uh, go for the long run. Are you a performer who works to the audience and for them? Or do you just get immersed into your music and let them watch and listen? Well, that depends on various things. Uh, depends on how in, interactive the audience is. If the audience is very interactive, then I will be more outgoing to the audience. If they're more uh, really playing the role of an audience and watching, then I won't bother myself with trying to reach out to them. I'll try to reach inside and let the music speak for itself. Finally, uh, you're doing an extra concert here in Sydney. Can you tell us how that came about and why you're doing it? Well, we just... Uh, we just arranged with the uh, Australian uh, Cerebral Palsy Association to do uh, another concert and I was going to uh, pass my fee on to them to try to help uh, in research for uh, ways to help children uh, with brain injuries and uh, other afflictions that uh, make them spastic or whatever. These, these kids need as much help as they can get, and uh, I feel I'm in a position to, to uh, offer a little bit of help. So that's, we're just going to add this here. I, I'm trying to do something like that everywhere I go, to every country I go to. Mm -hmm. What's the motivation behind that? Uh, basically, I just uh, really feel for these kids and for their parents, and uh, uh, I'm the parent of a child, two children with cerebral palsy, and my latest little girl is very healthy, and uh, so uh, I just uh, feel a certain kinship with these people, and I like to help them as much as I as I can. And maybe uh, maybe the reason why I have the uh, the kids that I have is so that I can help others. So I just try to do what I can as far as that goes. Okay. Thanks very much for talking to us. Thank you.